when I say things like enjoyable, not surprising, and a little stupid, one of the people that comes to mind, of course, is is the mess. Is the mess D'Souza? Now, the mess has uh, um, he's been he's his dance card's been full lately, too full to um, have a conversation, a lively dialogue with me about um, everything that's wrong with two thousand mules. Um, besides the entire movie, the only thing that's I would argue, the only thing that really was a true discovery, if you watch 2,000 Mules, is just how fucking stupid Larry Elder and Dennis Prager are. Because they have this kind of intellectual dark web mythology around them that they are somehow deep thinkers. And in this particular case, watching them fall for Dinesh D'Souza's bullshit is, it is very telling, right? I, that was that was surprising because the beginning the whole point is they're they're the ones who are you know they're dubious at the beginning and the idea is that they might be the hard ones to convince and and then at the halfway break they're already like I'm in it's the stupidest and and it's right after and around sort of laced in between the contrived footage he puts in of his own actor faking the ballot thing and the idea that the timing of that makes them look even even dumber makes them look like bigger assholes than they already are right so anyway so the other thing he likes to talk about is how january 6th um that because it, you know he you know he wants people to believe that he believes what's in 2000 mules which i i increasingly i call bullshit on i think this is a grift i don't think dinesh d'souza actually believes the premise of 2000 mules i might have before I don't now. I in watching him defend it and watching the lack of work that went into it, I just think he thought it was a money printing opportunity like his other movies. That I'm at this point I just call bullshit. I I don't think he buys it. Because he's not trying hard enough, you know, he's just basically keeping it afloat so he can make money. He's a Trump supporter, but he also wants to make money off Trumpistan, and this is one of the ways that you do it. I just don't, increasingly, I, I, I call bullshit on that. But one of the premises you have to, you have to believe in the election fraud idea if you want to defend January 6th at all, and that's also a big moneymaker. I wouldn't doubt it if the next, you know, the Mess D'Souza movie that comes out will be a Jan 6 defense, you know, proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that, you know, that it was capital cops that stomped uh, a Trump supporter to death and not her fellow maggots um, using by reversing the footage and showing cops giving her CPR saying, look at them crushing this poor woman's chest. And what leads me to believe that is this video, which I have not watched, but he has on a guest. He's, he's had a couple people on who are in jail for Jan 6. And this apparently is someone who was sentenced. Uh, um, she goes, Dr. Simone Gold, the founder of America's Frontline Doctors, uh, probably an anti-vax crowd, I'm guessing, tells us how she went from being a guest speaker at the Capitol to facing a 60-day prison sentence for doing nothing. Also, check out my new store for the hottest conservative merch that will drive your liberal friends crazy. It's Shop the Best of Suja. And then it's his bio. Um... We'll have a look at that later. It's going to drive your liberal friends crazy. Just from the smell alone. Okay, so this is, she's going to get 60 days for something. Let's see what she's getting 60 days. She must have probably just for exercising a right to free speech in Biden's America. Back with um, Dr. Simone Gold from America's Frontline Doctors. We're talking about her role in January. And by the way, um... Does it, uh, I, I'm not familiar with this woman, so America's Frontline Doctors. Um, founder of America's Frontline Doctors. Okay, so this is the open link. New um, oh, I see. Um, uh, is, the, is the page not open? Um, 
This is her website later. I'm not going to join you. Sorry. It's got an eagle. America's frontline doctors. The trusted name for independent information. It's a silly little website filled with wick. Um, breaking news. BLM labels pro uh, black pro-lifers white supremacists. Story number one. I'm glad a doctor's telling me that. Um, the, I, how do they how do they spread their news as America's frontline doctors? And why would this be a story that America's frontline doctors do? Except, is it? I mean, do they write it on the finger of a rubber glove? Facebook is ex, is accessing your medical data. Um, well, yeah, but since Roe v. Wade was overturned, you don't have the right to privacy anymore. So I don't know why you're complaining. British Embassy triggers good natured banter with July Fourth tweet. All important. Okay, so this is the lady you're talking to. Get to know the FLDS, AFLDS, America's Frontline Doctors. Frontline. Uh, frontline is one word, isn't it? They've got it as front. Uh, yeah, America's Frontline Doctors. And but uh, all right, never mind. Uh, create the world uh, together. We can recreate the world we love. Click below to get involved and defend your rights to freedom. Ha! Talk to us. Oh, what kind of weird. America's frontline proctologists. I'm Dr. Simone Gold, founder of America's Frontline Doctors. And the only person here. For the past two years, I've been looking at some of the best medical um, stock footage I could possibly find. This, of course, is not my face. Corrupt forces in the. This is, this is from an app thing that I bought, and you can just put whatever thing you want in it media government and medicine have been lying to you oh dear god countless lies. oh my god they're gonna suffocate that poor woman with an oxygen mask lives have been lost and permanently damaged due to this corruption yes people should not be given oxygen in the hospital it's they're trying to murder you get up lady get up run she we can't hear me why can't she hear me i think it's the music show you the way forward with science? Um, look, they, they, all that's left of that woman is on that little slide. With law and a <laughs> All legal discussions must have a tiny lady justice so that you can lean over and any, whoever's turn it is to talk flicks the scales so they wag turn back and forth. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yes, especially in uh, Ojai, Orange County. Laguna Beach. No. Here at AFLDS.org, we mm -hmm. provide you with the medical and legal resources you need to defend your freedom. Yes. If you want, if you think ball shocking is a uh, COVID treatment, we're here for you. Now is the time to get educated, organized, and... Citizen Corpse. I know it says Corpse, but I'm just saying it sounds like dead people. I don't know. There's a lot of maggots who probably think the word corpse is spelled with no E. Take action. Together, it will help you up. Hiking for America. We can restore our country to sanity, safety, and success. Sanity, safety, and success. The three S's. I, I normally like two S's together, but in this case... We're told we're in a health crisis. Uh, no, we, we're told we were in a health crisis, and now we're dealing with the aftermath of it, but we're, we're doing all right. I'm just saying. This is, I mean, they haven't updated this video in a while, I'm guessing. We're actually in a crisis of tyranny. Oh, dear God. They're even making the jackbooted UN shock troops wear masks. Also, uh, that guy is not uh, a legitimate officer. And an assault on our constitution. Yeah, it looks like somebody smeared coffee on it or something. I, did you spill coffee on it? That's just wrong. The science clearly shows that COVID can be treated without reliance on masks, lockdowns, or experimental therapies. Well, you, yeah, the masks are to keep you from getting it or to lower the viral load that you would get when you get it so your body has a chance to fight it off. Um, it's not a treatment. Nobody goes, dear God, you've tested positive for COVID. Put a mask on. It will help. 
condoms also don't treat HIV or the clap. I'm just saying. You can't go, ah, that was a really sketchy date. I'm going to, I got to put on a condom. Otherwise, I'm going to, you know, <laughs> the fuck. And what, what's in that fucking jar, by the way? Also, the, uh, Jeffrey Epstein is is bleeding through again. I apologize. But uh, I, I'm going to turn that off simply because um, there's a um, filters, uh, edit filters. Thank you. I'm going to leave this over here. Um, uh, I got to like, look at the look at the DNA thing they're extracting in this fucking bottle. They are trying to control you and turn us all into human pig hybrids. They're going to give me a pork heart, pork heart. Hack with us, America, up to the top of this where the sunlight, we're, we're all going to, everybody come along, tan your balls, even you, ma'am. The seriousness of the situation cannot be overstated. Um... I feel like he's giving me a dirty look. I, what did I do? What did I do? I just think it's weird. You, you, yes, you're you're outside and you're not wearing a mask and you're serious about it, but you're in the rocks by yourself with a group of people. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not going to get snow shoveling advice from the Donner Party. So I call you to act. Oh fuck! This is bad. They're locking arms. What is this, a giant game? Medical Red Rover. I call you to truth. Red Rover, Red Rover, let freedom come over. And I also call you to joy and the love of life, liberty. Look how happy we are to be outside and, and, and there's a snake. God and country. Uh-oh. This is a revolution of love as much as a revolution of science. I love science. This is perfect for me, y'all. The facts are on our side. Are, are they? Oh, she disappeared. Dear God. The facts have disappeared. The facts are on our side. And so are the steampunks. We just need you to stand up and fight for what's right. What are you staring at me for, dude? Don't look at me. You're the one with a scorpion crawling up your leg. Returning power to the people. We're gonna we're standing outside like assholes in the middle of a pandemic. This is all bullshit, y'all. Three of these people are dead. <laughs> Click below to get informed. I would love to be like like somebody like uh Mort died of COVID. She lost a lung. Oddly, she didn't ever think she died of measles. Uh <laughs> and get involved now. Let's take back our nation. Let's set an example for the world for human liberty. Let's do it. I'm ready to do it. Let's set a human liberty. Let's go. But but first, some music. Okay. The trusted name for independent information. You, you kind of just decide. This is your launch. That's your... You kind of decided you were the trusted name for independent information before you were. I'm just saying that's a title you should earn. I'm <laughs> just call me nutty. Um, I'm maybe this is. I'm curious. Um, this this is the woman that that woman is the is the lady who uh, apparently has been sentenced to 60 days just for being an American. Or a sixth, someone you're describing really a fright. Oh God. Been a rough year. ...situation, which is to say you have these out-of-control prosecutors. Yeah, they're nuts. They're just, wow, prosecute! They just, uh, they'll just they prosecute anybody. That's why they let half the people that they arrested that had weapons at the fucking Capitol just go home until their trial. And they come to someone like you, a medical doctor, there to give a speech. You're not even... Yes, um, medical doctors have never been busted for... Anything, Dr. Harold Shipman. All right. Even the, you're not even there to protest the election. You're there for a specific purpose. There's a crowd and we all... Yeah, you, we all know how you are with a crowd. I mean, you don't care. You just want to say your piece. No, the crowds have a kind of momentum of their... Yeah, they, the crowds just do their thing. They're just gonna do whatever. 
drone. If you're caught up in a crowd, quite yeah, you're. If you're, I mean, who hasn't been caught up in a crowd that stomped one of their own to death? You know, who among us? Honestly, and you try to resist, you're gonna get overrun by the crowd. Yeah, yeah. It's not like you could do what ninety. 7% of the people who showed up at that rally did and go the fuck home after. <laughs> yeah, it's like explosive diarrhea, really. Yeah, just, just if you fight it, it's just gonna hurt worse. It's better to just let it fly. Have ...pushed into the Capitol, presumably... Wait a minute. You're just what? You're gonna get overrun by the crowd. You're sort of pushed into the Capitol. You're sort of pushed into the Capitol. No, what the f no one has ever been just pushed into the Capitol, you fucking, like, you know what, I, it's, you know, it's not so much that sometimes Trump's hand would just get pushed into a woman's crotch, you know what I mean? If you go against your natural instincts, you're going to end up, you know, you just got pushed, in, like, your honor, uh, for the record, I got pushed into the, the, the window of this house by my own urges to rob the fucking place. I heard a noise. I got scared. I picked up a knife. And when the person who actually owned the house came downstairs, uh, the, the knife kind of got pushed into them. Presumably you don't deface any property. I'm quite presumably. You might want to ask her before you, she comes on the fucking show, dude. I'm sure you didn't even cross the barricades. And so you're in there. You try. Wait a minute. If she didn't cross the barricade, how the fuck she get in? She fucking fly? Maybe they're not arresting her. Maybe they're testing her superpowers. They're dissecting her. Those evil scientists. Try to give your speech and then you leave. And they're talking about charging you with obstruction of justice, which carries years. Now, what? They're charging. So just for speaking, she just speaking. She's being charged with obstruction of justice. Hold on. Perhaps there's more to this story. Let's find out. <clears throat> Founder of America's Frontline Doctors is sentenced to prison for role in Capitol Riot. Simone Gold, a Beverly Hills physician who founded a doctor's organization that challenged pandemic public health measures, that's a nice way of putting it, and promoted unproven COVID therapies, that's another way of putting it, has been sentenced to 60 days in prison by a U.S. federal court in Washington, D.C. for illegally entering the U.S. Capitol building during the riot on January's, excuse me, illegally being pushed in against her will. She didn't even know she was there. She was just speaking. She just wanted to talk. And, you know, one thing led to another, and she was defecating in the rotunda. Gold came to prominence in 2020 with a viral video introducing America's Frontline. Yeah, well, viral. Uh, most of the organization had no experience treating COVID patients. Yeah, they view full text. Um, let's see. Gold pleaded guilty. Oh. Gold pleaded guilty in March to a charge of entering and remaining in a restricted building during the riot. Prosecutors asked for a 90-day sentence, saying that America's Frontline Doctors, which is under congressional investigation for selling ineffective COVID treatments online, used her trial to raise $430,000 by portraying it as an assault on free speech. I find it unseemly that your organization is raising hundreds of thousands of dollars for its operations, including your salary. That is a real disservice to the Drew victims of that day. January 6th was about a lot of things, but it was not about the First Amendment on free speech, and it was certainly not about COVID treatments or vaccines. While inside the Capitol that day, Gold gave a speech opposing vaccine mandates. She was filmed by the spokesman of America's Frontline Doctors, John Strand, who prosecution described as her boyfriend. That's why they were holding hands on those rocks. They, I knew it. He refused a plea agreement and will stand trial. So he's still in jail. After a police officer told her to leave, Gold stopped in the rotunda where she climbed a statue of President Eisenhower and gave a second speech through a bullhorn. Gold told the court that she had been scheduled to speak at a January 6th health freedom rally outside the Capitol, way fucking outside, like not on Capitol grounds, organized with the Trump campaign. Oops. Oops. But that her speeches had been canceled and she'd been swept into the Capitol with the crowd. So Trump was supposed to show up. Is this where we're going to find out that that's what the whole Mark Meadows phone call was about? Was about these, the Trump campaign had organized some talks on the steps and She's going to fuck it up for everybody. Oh, man. Is she going to, 
Is she gonna fuck it up for everybody? Walk through the mental process, which I think people need. Uh, excuse me. Let's just, you're assuming facts, not in evidence that she has a mental process. Need to know where you basically go, even if there's a 5% chance of me being convicted on this absurd charge, I cannot afford to risk my life in that way in which, what am I gonna be locked up for 20 years? That's insane. Excuse me, she didn't get bumped in there and then go, fuck, I gotta get the hell out of her. She gave two goddamn speeches in the rotunda, one after the cops had told her to vacate the space. They were brooming people out and she was like, fuck you, and climbed on a statue of Eisenhower and started yelling, you prick. Oh God, this is so lame. So I will take 60 days in prison, crazy though that is, because- Because my alternative is 90. Because it's the lesser evil and the- Yes, no the, no, the lesser evil would be to not go into the fucking capital without express permission during a riot. Point is, I will do that whether I'm guilty or not. It makes no difference whether you're guilty or not guilty. Any rational person would make the same choice. No, they wouldn't. Any rational person wouldn't have been there while that crowd was doing that shit. Whatever situation they're in, correct? No. And by the way, choose your words carefully, ma'am. You, your, your boyfriend a has refused a plea deal. This is gonna show up at his trial and yours. That's correct. I also had an obligation in my mind to the American people. I uh, yes, you did, uh, to not trespass into the fucking Capitol while the electoral votes were being counted. I don't think I can go away for 20 years or 10 years or whatever the judge might decide or the jury. She got 60 days. They might decide. Um, she wasn't up for 10 or 20 years. Although if Trump had his way, there's a very strong po possibility that if the Eisenhower statue was damaged anyway by her climbing on it, she should have gotten an extra, you know, a, a solid 10 years. She, yes, want she did it for us. <laughs> we go nuts. Be distracted from the important work that we're doing. Yeah, it was all a distraction. Um, and Dinesh, you're leaning out of shot, fuckhead. America's Frontline Doctors brings lawsuits all across the nation in terms of our civil liberties, in terms of stopping shot mandates. <laughs> Um, yeah. What the fuck does that have to do with you trespassing in a federal building? Um, if you don't have medical freedom, you really don't have freedom. It's, it, it should be in the Constitution. I hope that- I agree. Hence, uh, why I'm for, uh, the codification of Roe v. Wade in legislation. Please continue. We get there one day. That's the work of America's frontline doctors, is ensuring America- oh. Medical freedom for all Americans. Oh, okay. Medical freedom for all Americans, uh, especially women who uh, might have an ectopic pre pregnancy and don't want to die while the cops and the hospital have to work it out in Texas. And the other work that we do is bringing an alternative to the crazy healthcare system that allowed this horrific lies to happen over the last two years. Oh my God. How to bring an alternative to it. That's why we, we use sage enemas. And we're doing that by bringing gold care, goldcare.com, which is an alternative to what we currently call the medical system, which we saw was, was. Don't go there, Hal. Don't go look at the site. Don't go, don't, 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 because you're going to end up um, buying some sort of weird freedom suppository. <laughs> what the, f what? Gold care, killing your grandma, we're gold care. You can rest assured that any services, procedures, medicines, or product will be recommended only if it's in your best interest and for no other reason. It's not just so we can make money on this thing. Why become a member of the PMA? The People's Medical Asshole. Uh, subscribe. How we are different. About us. Who we are. Member resources, members, tokens. What the fuck is tokens? The Gold Care Token System. Gold Care members use tokens to purchase any services within or, or slash from Gold Care TM. For example, doctor or other provider telemedicine consultations, wellness consultations, interactive small group classes. It's, it's like being in an arcade, except instead of Pac-Man, it's your ass. Why does Gold Care use tokens? 
Uh, the token system helps all gold care community members. Purchasing tokens protects you against inflation. It allows us to ensure... Oh, this is a fucking... This is a crypto grift. They got... They made up their own fucking crypto for anti-vaxxers. It's... It, it's sick coin. It was just fraud. I could not take myself out of the running for years and years and years. There's nothing that the other side would like more. So what? 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 If you couldn't take yourself out of the running for years and years and years, then why do, uh, participate in petty trespassing or, or in a situation where cops were being attacked, which you know is a possibility you might do that, and just not go anywhere fucking near the place and speak elsewhere? What the fuck? Um, so as a result of the plea, you got 60 days um, in federal prison. Mm -hmm. um, do you know which facility it's going to be? When? Do yeah. Uh, she's not getting conjugal visits, Dinesh. Don't, don't even ask. Does it start? What, what are your, how are you thinking about it? You actually texted me some days ago asking me a felon to felon, like, hey, you, you're a fucking crook. Question about it, which I'm happy to. $10,000 for four tokens? Is it, do they, does it say how much? Yeah. Uh, uh, can, can they be divided? How much? Do they have intrinsic value? The intrinsic value of a gold care token is a 15 minute appointment with a doctor where you can purchase whether you purchase now or later when the price is higher. Yeah, they're fucking, what a grift. Oh, current price of a gold care token is a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for a 15 minute online talk with a doctor. Yeah, which I tried to answer briefly. Uh, I mean, quite honestly, I, I feel almost a deja vu because I was the federal government in my case wanted me to put me away for somewhere between 16 months. Uh, the, the maximum sentence was two years, but federal prison and my lawyer was trying to, you know, kind of assure me. He's like federal prison in white collar is no big deal. He goes, you know, you're going to meet a mayor. Did you see your face twitch when he said that? Is it? It's no big deal. He's like Watch federal your prison in white collar is no big deal. He goes, you know, you're going to meet. <laughs> Um, I don't know if that was a glitch or what. It, it seems like she she <laughs> she glitched on that one. Meet a mayor. You're gonna meet a business guy. You're gonna meet a some other guy who did this. And he She's, you're not making her feel better, dickhead. <laughs> Jesus, like he he thinks that ah, you know it's yeah, fucking it's club fed. You'll be fine. She's like. <clears throat> He goes, you know, you can play chess, you can watch TV. He goes, actually, it's quiet time for a guy who has a crazy life like you. So all this came back to my mind when you sent me your text. But talk a little bit about where that is right now um, and, and how you're feeling about it. <laughs> yeah, because like for the the guy stuff, it's, you know, that's easy. But I don't know. What is there? What's white collar women's federal prison? Do they even have one of those? I mean, there's a lot of white collar dudes out there, so they may not even have the room. They might just send you to a regular federal prison in general. You might be in gen pop. So I don't know yet where I'll be going and I don't know yet when it starts. Sing, sing. Um, Rikers. Um, it is Ms. Rikers. It's true that I should be assigned to a federal minimum security prison, but until that is what is printed on the paper, I don't know, right? I'm still under the judge's thumb. And so- Well, again, your, uh, your act is not necessarily a, a minimum security. It, you are literally trespassing. So the idea that the government can just assume that you won't cross a barrier you're told not to cross is absurd. His was financial. Yours was physical. That's it. Like, like the, the club fed places, like they have fences around them, but the idea is that you could break out pretty easily. They just assume you're going to ride it out. You're in there for breaking into a federal uh, building. What makes them think you wouldn't break out of one? You know, there's absolutely no reason I would be put anywhere else. Uh, sure there is. Uh, you were per a participant in a violent act. But it is still a severe punishment. And, and by the way, women and, and men go to jail in regular federal prison for like federal check fraud and that kind of stuff. They don't necessarily go to some sort of minimum security prison sometimes. I mean, I travel a lot. I do public speaking. Mm. Yeah, well, you're about to have a two month break. I'm a very active, dynamic person. 
And well, they'll give you yard time. It's not like you're going to be in solitary unless you say I've got COVID and spit on the. Well, actually, my role is is to publicly speak. My role is to lead and they're taking. No, no, it isn't. It's, apparently your role is to sit in a bizarrely white room. I mean, they, I've always heard that like white walls without any, you know, color on them and that kind of stuff is a sign of repressed emotion and psychopathy me a little bit out of that having said that i do welcome the rest i mean i have been working very hard for two and a half years to bring truth um but i'm i'm and yeah and when you're that unsuccessful at something you've been working at for two years you must be exhausted you know i, I have said this to you you know you're an immigrant my, my father's an immigrant i love this nation and to watch the collapse of our civil liberties all around us you don't have a civil liberty to trespass in a federal building Otherwise, foreign agents from all over the world could have blown our shit up years ago, dummy. And to see that most people are not getting it is very heartbreaking. So, uh, Well, aren't as crazy as you, I think is what you mean. And I don't... Hold on one second. Um... Yeah. 61, okay. Perhaps my story is serving as an example. I am nonviolent, first time misdemeanor conviction. And um, yeah, but in an extraordinary situation where people, uh, two women died in the commission of the crime you were a participant in. If it was a home robbery and you had been part of a group of four people that broke in and one of them had been shot by the owner, you would be culpable in their murder even though you came there just to yell in the kitchen to distract people while they stole other shit. And the judge is saying 60 days. Wake up, America. That doesn't happen. Does anybody even know people who go to jail for misdemeanors? Yes. Or prison for misdemeanors? Yes. It's just as a non-thing. So we need to wake up and understand that we're losing our civil liberties. Well, part of it is, is that you don't, you, you, she made a plea deal to go for less time because they, she was actively part of the group that she was she was cause for other people to stay in the space she was calling people to stay in the space as she gave her speech on the eisenhower statue and that shit so the idea was that she wasn't just a participant there but she was involved in making the other participants stay longer and that's my that's my focus do you think that the let's think about what they're up to with the the january 6th because yeah what are they up to with this crazy January 6th thing because it was nothing I don't I mean this is like I mean, it's, uh, it's like the you know the, it's like carnival you know I don't know what the big deal is do you think this is ultimately all about Trump an effort to prevent Trump from being reelected or to prevent other Trump related assholes from thinking they can bust into the fucking capital anytime we're trying to have a peaceful transfer of power do you think it's merely we have to teach uh, these people a lesson, make an example of them? Is it? I'm um, for yeah. That's a, that that happens a lot. That's a lot of the reason why people go to jail. A, a message to the broader sort of MAGA or Trump supporting movement uh, to not violently attack the nation's capital. It's a valuable lesson. Um, is it the is it part of the left's effort to create a one party state? I mean, clearly something very important is going on here. What do you think is the heart? Yes, something very important, like the idea that we would rather not have people attack the Capitol. Part of it. You push if you're the opponent on the other side, you push hard and you see what damage you can cause. It probably started. Yeah, that's how you got in the fucking building, dummy. If, if you're on the other side, you you know, if you're the villain on the other side, you push hard and see who you can get into the Capitol accidentally. With an attempt to keep Trump out of the next election. However, it's clearly meant to stop people like me, perhaps people like you. People are willing and have the courage to speak. Well, you have to understand, um, he's an asshole and an idiot, but he wasn't dumb enough to accidentally trip and fall into the Capitol on January 6th, for fuck's sake. Why else would you take me down in, in a violent, violent arrest? She, uh, uh, wow, she, did they, was she tased? What happened? Other than to teach me to be quiet. I've um, you were, also, was she arrested there?
Is there video of this? Can we watch this so I can laugh? That news to the other side. All you do is embolden people like myself and others. People. Okay, uh, Your Honor. Um, yeah, we know you gave her 60 days. You might want to go full 90 because she just said that this just emboldens people like her to do more. She spit in the judge's face right now who, who made a deal with her and let her have 60 days instead of 90. People will watch me and they will get more courage from seeing what happens. I will survive this. I will come out. I will continue to speak. Yeah, but maybe not technically in a place where there's a violent insurrection going on. I might m focus more on like Ramadas, but like Ramadas that we have rented space in. But if the question is, if it's only to get Trump, most definitely not. I think Trump was the one who said, they're not after me. I'm just standing in the way. Yeah, that's that's goofy bullshit. He doesn't actually believe that. And if you actually believe that, then that's what makes you a maggot. We're just, Trump was just standing in the way. People like. No, he wasn't. He was, he, he was, uh, depending on who you believe, he was sitting in a car and then eating popcorn, watching you guys get your ass kicked. Me, people like you, they want to stop us. I speak for the people. Uh, no, you don't. You you speak. At, what are you looking at? I, I'm sorry. I find you creepy. I find Dinesh creepy, too. His whole relationship with Debbie, just the whole thing. It's just odd. What? Of America, and I'm saying no more. No more. Stop in the name of MAGA. No more. Well, I and again, I say no more until I report for, you know, my my sentence and then they say no more basically <clears throat> because they, they they'll tell me when to eat and where it lights out and that kind of thing and then i'll get out and then yeah jesus i must commend you for your strength and your <laughs> you know what i love about you is that you don't uh make it about anybody else you take responsibility for what you did and uh, you wouldn't let anybody say that, you know, you at, you ended up where you were accidentally, that this was a, you stand by your choices. Courage, because, you know, when you're under this kind of pressure, particularly you had the kind of FBI raid that I've never experienced, you know, you can go either way. It can actually break you and you go, okay, I got the message. I won't cause any more trouble. Yeah, that's what happened. She pled, she, she took a plea deal. She pled guilty and got 60 days. And her, her boyfriend did, didn't, though, apparently. He's going to go for the full run. And, you know, we have all kinds of works to the effect that, that there are people who succumb and who give in. Who... There are all sorts of what's to the... The what? Hold on. Words to the effect or warts? We have all kinds of works to the effect that, that there are people who succumb and who give in. Who, in a sense, fly the swastika flag, if you will. But you... What? Asshole, you do realize that this woman was engaged in an insurrection and an attack on the Capitol with people who were flying the fucking Confederate flag. In the Confederacy, in the, their constitution, he's not even a person. Are one of those people who goes, no, you know. Oh, I see. So um, anybody who believes that we should have a peaceful transfer of power and wasn't engaged in the actual attack on on the day is flying the swastika flag. Fuck, I don't know why uh, Dinesh is not for Russia invading the United States. Apparently, we're, uh, we're overrun with Nazis. What's the difference between us and Ukraine at this point? What? You're showing me that I have more work to do and I've got to work, be tougher and I've got to work harder. <laughs> yes, uh, you got to make 2020 mules. And the lesson I'm going to take from this is that you people are the real gangsters. I, I want to share with you if... Yes, uh, and gangsters should go to jail. That's, that's, that's what gangsters should do, actual gangsters. Now, now if you're using gangsta, uh, I, I would technically, I guess that's cultural appropriation. <laughs> Uh, even for you, Dinesh, uh, gangsta, you're the real gangstas. Um, uh, that's not true either. But also, uh, gang gangsters deserve to go to jail. They traffic in drugs and human beings. They kill people for over turf. Our little piece of turf. Just have a, a little, a little bit more time. 
the amount of effort oh wait she's ditching out on you dinesh that's put into silencing me has been extraordinary you're not you're on a fucking podcast you're gonna get 60 days none of your rights to speak have been affected or amended at all she just pitched two fucking websites one where she's making shitcoin money off of gullible assholes i'm not gonna believe what i'm about to tell you here's here's well i'm not gonna believe you're able to tell me whatever you think i'm not gonna believe you're able to tell me because you're able to tell me this when you're telling me that somehow your free speech is being infringed about five different things. One is that the FBI agents, FBI Los Angeles reported to a state that I was charged with treason. They put that in writing. It's a complete fabrication. That's item number one. Item. Hold on. This is, I, again, I, I don't know. Let's see. FBI raids. Uh, what's her? Uh, Simone Gold. Rest for capital insurrection, med news, med news. Um, one second. So, um, give me this real quick. This is the uh, affidavit, sworn criminal complaint. Um, let's see, let's blow this sucker up. Burnt, burnt, burnt. And move this over here. This affidavit is submitted in support of a criminal complaint charging John Herbert Strand, Strand and Simone Melissa Gold, Gold, with violations of 18 U.S.C. 1752A and 40 U.S.C. 5104E2. I respectfully submit that this affidavit establishes probable cause to believe that Strand and Gold did knowingly enter or remain in, a, in any restricted building or grounds without lawful authority, or did knowingly and with intent to impede or disrupt the orderly conduct of government business or official functions, engage in disorderly or disruptive conduct, because she she not only gave a speech, but she gave a second speech on top of a, a statue where she was told to leave and she was holding, making people stay longer at any place in the grounds or in any Capitol buildings with the intent to impede, disrupt or disturb the orderly conduct of a session of Congress or either House of Congress or the orderly conduct of the building of any deliberation of either House of Congress, specifically on or about January 6, 2021, Strand and Gold traveled to D.C. and knowingly and willfully joined a crowd of individuals who forcibly entered the U.S. Capitol and impeded, disrupted, and disturbed the orderly conduct of business by the United States House of Representatives. She pled guilty to this, by the way. Agent background tells us, I'm one of the agents assigned to the ongoing investigation of riots and civil disorder that occurred on January 6th and in, uh, in and around the United States Capitol by the FBI. Uh, background on January 6th, the joint session, blah, 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 U.S. Capitol is secured 24 hours a day by security bearers in the USCP. Occupy various posts throughout the grounds. Restrictions around the U.S. Capitol include permanent temporary security barriers and posts manned by USCP. They wore uniforms with clearly marked police patches. So when they went past them, that's the violation of the, like, you didn't, the idea that you didn't know you were breaking the fucking law is just goofy. Uh, let's see. At appropriate, uh, approximately 2 p.m., certain individuals in the crowd forced their way through and up over the barricades, right? A short time later, at approximately 2.20, members of the United States House of Representatives and Senate, including the President of the United States, Vice, uh, President of the Senate, um, Vice President Pence, were instructed to and did evacuate the chambers. As such, all proceedings of the U.S. Congress, including the joint session, were effectively suspended until shortly after 8 p.m. the same day in light of the dangerous circumstances caused by the unlawful entry. This is the way a lot of these read, by the way. Statement of facts. Um, beginning on or about January 7th, the investigation agencies began receiving tips from the public related to civil unrest. Strand and Gold, uh, as, as being involved, many of the tips include photographs of Strand and Gold inside the Capitol. Is she wearing a fucking mask? Are you fucking kidding me? All right. I just feel betrayed. I, I get he's not wearing one. He looks like uh, the action movie version of Kramer from Seinfeld. But it's a great jacket, Jerry. Whoa. Whoa. In another tip, uh, a witness wrote, uh, an old acquaintance was posting pictures of himself taking over the Capitol yesterday. He was calling for a revolution on his social media accounts. Individual broke into the Capitol building and is uh, paid to promote propaganda on his website. Um they, uh, they listed their date of birth, which has been uh, redacted. Both reside in California. 
On the seventh Twitter account, the John Strand, believed to be used by Strand, posted a photograph in which Strand was seen wearing a black jacket, a pink scarf, dark sunglasses, which appeared to be consistent with the photograph Strand in gold above. That's them. And the photograph appeared to be taken on the steps of the Capitol. There he is. Look at him. We're never conceding a stolen election. I'm incredibly proud to be a patriot today, to stand up in tall defense of liberty and the Constitution, support Trump and MAGA forever, and send the message we are never conceding a stolen election. Several media outlets broadcast coverage of the Capitol breach. Um, let's see, coverage of events. Uh, there's... In this video, time stamped, it, a man and woman consistent in appearance with the above pictures of Strand and Gold can be seen walking with a companion in a natural statuary hall, which is located inside the Capitol. Member of the news media posted a video to Twitter entitled Statuary Hall being slowly cleared out. In the video, a man bearing resemblance to Strand can be seen with a recording device. The man was recording a woman consistent in appearance with Gold, giving a speech to a small gathering of people after they were clearing the place out and she refused to leave and gave a speech, which upped her... Uh, her misdemeanor charge higher than the other fucking people. That's how it works. Dumb, dumb. Uh, on January 7th at approximately 9.07, a Twitter account that John Strand reposted a video. Trump supporter gets shot and murdered. Um, entitled, Trump supporter gets shot and murdered the U.S. state capitol. So the whole capitol got murdered. Video was posted with caption, I was there. This is inexcusable. <laughs> uh, fuck, man. And everybody's like, why aren't they showing the exculpatory evidence of these people? Why they're charging these people? How dare they? And like, um, asshole. They're like, they're going through all this footage. They're they're following people and they're they're uh tracking them and violating their privacy. Motherfuckers, they they showed this shit. They were proud of it. A review of several tweets from the account holder include the term Twitter for iPhone based on training experience. I understand Twitter account holders who own or possess Apple iPhones could download the Twitter application from the App Store. Once the application is loaded, that's why it says Twitter for iPhone, right? So he did it from his own phone. This, they're just, these are regular details that will show up in a court uh, proceeding. Uh, an open source search of social media depictions from the 6th uncovered several videos and photographs of persons consistent in appearance with strand and gold inside the Capitol. Some of the photographs are below. There she is. There she is with her. She's got a fucking bullhorn inside there. She ain't just walking, kids. I stumbled into a place with a bullhorn. Video posted on the Getty Images database online. There they are. Shows what appears to be stranded gold in a large crowd attempting to push past multiple officers blocking the entrance to the Capitol, which had visibly broken in windows at the time. One of the officers who had been pinned near the doors of the Capitol appears to be pulled out by someone in the crowd and lands near where Strand and Gold were standing. So they, they're there when a cop is attacked and they continue forward into the Capitol. I conducted an internet, uh, an, an, sorry, an, an international, an initial review of some of the surveillance footage from surveillance cameras installed inside the Capitol on January 6th. During my review, I saw what appears to be strand of gold as depicted in the pictures above, enter the Capitol through the rotunda door and walk through various parts of the building consistent with their locations as captured in other various videos described above that they put out themselves. Honestly, this is how all these assholes that are actually getting time got busted. Because not only did they tweet that they were there, that they participated, that they welcomed it, they, they would do it again. Fuck off. On January 8th, agents from the FBI interviewed witness uh, one who identified Strand as the person on an FBI wanted poster from the Capitol breach. Uh, witness one met Strand approximately 10 years ago and had a personal relationship with him. Witness one provided, oh, an X. Oh, that's got to be harsh. Uh, phone number for Strand, which was consistent with the phone number the investigative agency believes Strand uses. Um, let's see. On January 12th, the Washington Post published an article called I Do Regret Being There. Simone Gold, noted hydroxychloroquine advocate, was inside the Capitol during the riot. The article features an additional photograph of what appears to be gold inside the Capitol, giving a speech, as captured in the video described in paragraph. Fuck me. That, remember what? Oh God damn it! Remember what this woman said? How how did Dinesh describe this shit? Back the fuck up! Hold on a second. Uh, I also didn't want to be distracted from the important work that we're doing. America's frontline doctor. Hold on. Well, and the point is, I will do that whether I'm guilty or not. It makes. Sense. I cannot afford to risk my destruction of justice, which carries years. Now, walk through the mental process, which I think people need to know, where you basically go, even if there's a 5% chance 
of me being convicted on this absurd charge. Absurd. Well, oh. presumably you don't deface any property. I'm Hold on. Specific purpose this is, is a crowd, and we all know that crowds have a kind of momentum of the- Crowds have a kind of momentum. Motherfucker, she was making the crowd stay. She was part and parcel to pe the, the direction of the crowd. She had a fucking bullhorn. Who the fuck are these people? Do they- Honest to God, do they- I did, I, First of all, they, do they think the court doesn't have their social media? It's public. That's what makes it social their own if you're caught up in a crowd quite caught up in a cr fucking hell honestly she was yes she was directing the crowd other people could argue that she directed them where's the fucking ray up story about her why isn't she why aren't they calling her out as antifa and forcing people to go in and you try to resist you're gonna get overrun by the crowd you're sort of pushed into the capital she sort of pushed into the capital Get the fuck out. They pushed past cops to get in. They basically stepped over a cop who was yanked out by protesters. Presumably you don't deface any property. Presumably. Yeah, I'm quite sure you didn't even cross the barricades. Yeah, she fucking well did. She, that, again. Why? Because they were knocked down already? The cops you stepped on were already unconscious. And so you're in there, you try to give your speech, and then... You're in there, you try to give your speech. Jesus Christ. Look, I've been talked into some shit gigs as a comic in my life. Come on, man, we're putting on the show, just do it. I, I understand. None of it involved me stop, stepping over the body of an unconscious cop. I'm sorry, I would, I would turn that gig down. I don't like disappointing an audience, but if they got into that club stepping over an unconscious cop, Fuck them. They don't deserve the laughs I would give. For America. And you leave. Jesus Christ. And then, okay, so back to this. You give your speech and then you leave. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. Captured in the video description. In the article, the writer quotes Gold as stating the following in a phone interview. I can certainly speak to the place that I was, and it most emphatically was not a riot. Where I was was incredibly peaceful. Yeah, because the rioters had cleared a space for you, motherfucker. Oh, God damn it. According to this article, Gold confirmed that she went inside the Capitol, saying she followed a crowd that assumed, uh, and assumed it was legal to do so. The fuck out of here. Further noting, she was inside for about 20 minutes and regretted being there. According to the article, Gold added that she traveled to D.C. to speak at a rally for health freedom on the east side of the Capitol on Wednesday afternoon. According to the article, Gold claimed to have attended the rally along with John Strand, who was there to ensure her safety. The article included the photograph below, which was credited to John Strand. Um, let's see. They did a, I, I respectfully, and then he signed it and they respectfully. They, they were there on purpose. Yeah, there you go. There she is. Good stuff. She and her dude just punching. Pain. I just thought this was legal. That's what all the screaming was about. And the like, I thought it was legal to hang Mike Pence. Oh, video's not up on there anymore. The Getty Images link is down. All right. I'll have to, you'll have to take my word for it. Okay, so where were we? This stupid shit. Was any more trouble. And, you know, we have all kinds of works to the effect that, that there are people who words to the effect succumb and who give in who in a sense fly the swastika flag if you will again what the fuck is that fly the swastika flag because they participate in civil society but you are one of those Hell, i want you to direct your lifetime original movie i insist those people who by the way you're watching hell sparks mega worldwide like and subscribe thumbs up support show blah 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 God, no, you know what? You're showing me that I have more work to do and I've got to work, be tough. Yes, making license plates, you criminal bastard. And I've got to work harder. And the lesson I'm going to take from this is that you people are the real gangsters. I, I want to share with you, if it just have a, a, little, a little bit more time, the amount of effort that's put into silencing me has been extraordinary. You're not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. Here yeah, that's, I, I don't believe everything else because I in the affidavit from the arresting officer they showed you lying 
Also, let me see. Is there what I originally went for was, let's see. Dr. Larry, FBI raid, da, da, da. Olympic go um, KTLA has three, and again, three Beverly Hills residents are facing federal charges in DC on connection with the Jan 6 riot at the US Capitol. Uh, Gina Bisignano, 52. Um, John Strand, 37. Simone Gold, 55. Are expected, that's her boyfriend. She's, uh, all right, she's cougaring. All right, good for her. Are expected to appear in federal court. Okay. Uh, um, oh, no, thank, good Lord. Get uh, justice, the FBI. Come on. I don't want to, don't make it the, oh, never mind. Anyways, they don't show, there's no video of her being arrested. So I was hoping there'd be, John Strand would have videotaped that as well. About five different things. Yeah, we'll we'll send a we'll send a clip of this to the L.A. Uh, judge. One is that the FBI agents, FBI Los Angeles, reported to a state that I was charged with treason. No, they didn't. And his his, I just read his affidavit. That's not what it says at all. This is the thing he reports to the state. Doesn't say she's charged with treason at all. That's just a fucking lie. They put that in writing. Mm, I, not not in the affidavit, not in the rest affidavit. It's a complete fabrication. That's item number Well, what you said was a complete fabrication. That I believe. Number one. Item number two, the California Medical Board president has personally made it her mission to rescind my medical license based- ba Based on the fact that you're getting people killed? Based upon the fact- That you, that your uh, first order of business is do harm? She viscerally hates and despises me. Well, that might be enough of a reason, actually. I, I kind of, I, I mean, I don't know her, but I feel like I know her. You know what I mean? She has worked with the California state legislature to craft a bill, California House Bill 2098, that would pull the medical licenses of people like me. Oh, uh, criminal lunatics who try to sucker people into taking drugs that won't help their condition? I know that it involves me because they spoke about me. They called it the Simone Gold... Is, is, all right. In committee. We're not going to use that kind of language. In other words, they're putting the full weight of the federal government and the state government on silencing people like me. The no, you can say whatever the fuck you want. You just can't call yourself a doctor if they r remove your standing. You could, you could actually be former Dr. Simone Gold and they took my license away because I believe this and I'm just telling you what I believe and they wouldn't be able to do shit about it. But to be an accredited doctor in the system, you can't talk like that because there's standards. And if you violate those standards, you'll lose your medical license. That's why there's a medical license. That's why people are licensed in the first fucking place. You can say whatever the fuck you want. You can't just still, you can't still call yourself a doctor in that case, a medical doctor anyways. The good news, what you said, I'm not going to be silenced. Yeah, we know because that's not part of it. You're just going to jail for 60 days and you're gonna lose your medical license. We, yes, we, we have freedom of speech in this country. You just don't have freedom to having a Twitter account and you, and not everybody gets a fucking medical license just because they think they know enough about medicine to say so. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it is, uh, totally. Wow, wow. Um, thank you very much, Simone, for joining me. What a story and what a case. And I, I, I know you're going to come out of this stronger and with a big... Well, she's going to have to. She'll know how to make a shiv out of a toothbrush. Uh, her golf game will be on. Um, she'll be all cut up on, caught up on uh, Orange is the New Black, uh, binging that show before she goes in. So she, you know, she knows the rules. And, um, you know, she might be in a whole new relationship, so bigger voice than ever. Thank you very much. May I just N no, not a bigger Oh wait, she's got more to say. Hold on. Not a bigger voice than ever. She'll be cuz if you if she's not Dr. Simone Gold when she says this and she calls herself that, she can get in trouble because that's practicing medicine without a license. Fun. Share with with everybody. Please check out Gold. No, no, I'm not going to no. 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 I'm not going to not going to just not going to let you do the ad. Sorry.
Fuck you. Thank you. Yes, goodbye. Um, that's uh, that's uh, Dr. Simone Gold, uh, who um, is, is the first person that fell, uh, that accidentally fell into the Capitol through a skylight and was uh, forced in some way to uh, to stop being an American citizen. That was her choice. Do time or stop being an American. And she's not going to do it. She stands for everything that's great about this country. Um, and that's why she was on Dinesh D'Souza, a convicted felon who um, was engaged in campaign fraud, <laughs> money fraud. Um that's why she went on his podcast to say that. So, and and of course, uh, she's running her own weird little Bitcoin scam around uh, getting people like uh, it's like hydroxycoin. Yeah, yeah, you're a doctor. I'm a doctor. Everybody's a doctor. Ah, oh, beautiful, Simone Gold, pure gold.